you don't follow me. Oh hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Candice, a paramedic from SCDF, and today I'm here to answer all your burning questions you may have about us. How many persons can be in the ambulance? We can have a maximum of six persons in the ambulance, including the SCDF crew. Depending on the condition of the casualty, we can convey up to maximum three casualties at each time. What is the happiest moment that you have ever encountered while you were on duty? Once, I deliver a baby in the middle of SOS way. The pregnant lady had water bag burst while en route to the hospital. With the blinker light still on, we stopped the ambulance at the side of the city expressway and I helped to deliver the baby. Can we hear the famous siren of the ambulance? Yes, the SCDF ambulance have not one, but we have four different types of siren. The whale. The yelp. The pulsar. The high low. While they sound slightly different from each other, they have one common purpose, which is to alert the road user to give way to the approaching emergency ambulance. If you see an emergency ambulance with its blinker light on and hearing the sound of the siren approaching your vehicle, make sure you stay calm and give way to the emergency ambulance because every second counts when we attend to a life-threatening emergency situation. What are some challenges you face in doing your job? Well, at times, we have to deal with uncooperative or unreasonable family members and even patients who do not respect us. There is also a common misconception that we as CDF Ambulance is treated as a taxi or grab services, which is totally untrue. We are definitely not merely transporters, but are well-trained and experienced medical professionals who provide critical life-saving medical intervention as first responder at the scene. Have you encountered attending to a medical call in a high-rise building and an elevator was not working? Yes, there have been numerous such instances. Sometimes even the lift is working, but it is too small to even fit our stretcher. So in such instances, we call our firefighter colleagues to assist us to carry the patient down the ground floor using canvas instead of conventional stretcher. What are in those racks at the upper segment within the ambulance? Let me show you. Come, follow me. contains medical expendables such as oxygen face mask, resuscitation equipment, maternity kit, and also burn kit. Another unique feature of this ambulance is the auto decontamination system. The purpose-built decontamination system is designed to automatically and effectively disinfect the ambulance interior and equipment after each conveyance of infectious patients to the hospital. What are inside your medical bags? So this is the trauma bag that we bring along in every calls we go. We carry medical essential items such as bandages, thermometer, hypocal, and also medical emergency drugs. How fast can you guys react to an emergency? Activation time to leave the fire station is within 1 minute and we target to reach the incident site within 11 minutes. But of course, there is unforeseen circumstances such as heavy downpour and heavy traffic congestion. Can an engineer have a career change to be a paramedic? Yes, we do have successful paramedics who do not have medical background before joining us. No matter where you're from, you will undergo basic medical training and be taught medical protocols by the professional trainers. Find out more in the link below. So now, to the last question. What time is your lunch? We cannot expect a fixed lunch time. We consume when we are not out for call or in between calls. Since I got time now, I shall go and eat now. Bye!